A lot of our area has been hit with rain over the last few weeks. How about that thunder this morning? Well, even with all of that wet weather, fire danger is on the minds of local officials because of all that green grass. KXN's Sarah Alshe explains how you can prepare now. For many people, this green grass is a welcomed sight, a sign of all the rain Central Texas received recently. But to fire officials, this is fuel. It's great for livestock, uh, not great for wildland fire in the summer. As temperatures continue to heat up and conditions dry out, officials say this grass, now green, will eventually turn brown. Come August, September is when we'll really start having the wildfires once the grass, grasses die out. Increasing the chances for bigger wildfires. The larger fuel, the, the larger flame length that we would have to deal with in the future, the hotter fire, uh, longer burning fire that we'll have later this summer. The Kyle Fire Department says the time to protect your home is now. The best thing they can do is mow their yards, keep their vegetation down. Even if there are fields around you that are going to be tall, if your grass is short, fire goes slower. Fuel mitigation is the main focus for Bastrop County ESD2 Community Risk Reduction Officer Colton Curls. Over the next couple of months, Curls expects conditions to grow hotter and drier than normal, which means to a, a busy, potentially late summer or uh, fall uh, fire season for us in Central Texas. Sarah Alshech, KXAN News. And at a recent wildfire preparedness event, Austin Mayor Kirk Watson says the city ranked number six in the nation for homes at risk in a wildfire. Uh, going in depth, there were 59 wildfires here in Central Texas last year, burning more than 4,000 acres. The largest was the Moore Peak Fire, which burned 700 acres. The majority of those fires sprung up in July and August, with only one in May and one in June.